Hi, welcome to Linux channel. See, long ago I shot uh, a video episode on uh, multi homing, and in that context, I little bit discussed about uh, SCTP and then about uh, MPTCP. So that's this video is all about. This I shot uh, quite a while ago. Then I thought, um, let me uh, discuss uh, as the title says. <laughs> Uh, whatever happened to SCTP protocol uh, because SCTP itself has been done uh, uh, to address uh, some of the fundamental limitations of uh, TCP and to overcome uh, and possibly to provide uh, I mean an attempt to provide the next generation uh, you know TCP IP uh, uh, you know stack a transport layer stack uh, uh, well within the same IP before uh, you know context so that's the main you know uh, subject which we can discuss in this episode and in that context we can also compare why it has not uh, taken over and then uh, why now recently this MPTCP is coming into the picture and uh, those who are wondering uh, the multi homing is uh, something I'm not talking about uh, L2 uh, bonding <laughs> uh, whenever you do uh, you know bonding I mean uh, combine multiple ethernet ports so into a single ethernet port in layer 2 context since it is bonded these uh, you know pipes are bonded as a single uh, you know virtual ethernet uh, l2 port uh, so that is something else <laughs> since uh, it's l2 bonding you assign a common ip over it but here we are talking about uh, ip uh, multi homing uh, it's more like an ip you know uh, uh, bonding actually but the term bonding is inappropriate uh, to call here because it's just not that it is about multi homing which means uh, it's simple assume you have a multi van uh, router um, which means you have a router uh, which has multiple uh, van ports so, uh, say for instance uh, what I use is a multi van router uh, as a part of the SD van providing so it, all these are multi van uh, routers so, so it may have multiple wired ports multiple LTE ports and sometimes you can combine all these you know uh, channels and uh, uh, you know uh, get an entire multi van internet experience so hence I'm saying this is what uh, stands for multi homing and sometimes you can also take a simplistic way assume you have a laptop uh, you have two internet uh, connections uh, and you try to utilize uh, both at the same time and uh, that's what actually qualifies as multi homing so either you can use directly on a PC or a laptop or you can use it on a router and then connect your home network onto the LAN port of that router doesn't matter it can be Wi-Fi or it can be uh, you know wired LAN port <laughs> okay so the whole home network or office network you can push it onto the LAN side and the other side it is a multi homed router so this is the context and it is about uh, L3 context so the whole idea behind SCTP uh, is somewhat popular as again little I discussed in this episode also it was uh, there in the talks uh, during 2002, 2003, 2005, 6 and so on and in fact uh, at that time I got even uh, a student uh, doing masters uh, and uh, she first told that she's doing some uh, research in uh, uh, this SCTP uh, and uh, she needs some assistance in terms of uh, uh, doing some practicals and uh, understanding uh, the intricacies and stuff and funnily even I'm very new to that but since I'm uh, a kind of experienced uh, networking guy uh, who also do uh, you know uh, the research stuff I taken over the project and then I helped her so this is how I was introduced to SCTP stack and at that time it was very uh, new and I still don't uh, remember uh, whether it is a part of kernel mainland see I'm talking about around 2004-2005 uh, era I'm not sure whether it is a part of uh, uh, kernel mainland uh, but now if you go and check uh, SCTP is very much a part of kernel mainland SCTP is one among the transport layer uh, protocol just like we have uh, you know UDP and uh, TCP and uh, by standard it also uh, can accommodate this multi homing stuff but again it, it has other few features which can overcome some of the drawbacks of uh, TCP this is the overall idea so you can go here 
and uh, let's take the linux uh, kernel source uh, let's go here and go to this ipv4 stack see the reason i do this is uh, we get a conclusive proof that where this have been positioned uh, rather than uh, <coughs> you know seeing some uh, uh, you know this ietf or uh, some sort of you know papers actually then that we can see a real implementation and try to understand what is the hierarchy of this you know stack so if you go here you go to this network and ipv4 within the ipv4 you should see the ip components the network layer components and then you can see this uh, tcp stuff and then you have this udp stuff and somewhere you should technically find this sctp thing also so let's just see sctp stuff you should find if not in this folder you can uh, you know kind of go back and see that where it has been positioned but in general uh, yeah okay you can see here it is over here actually so this is where it is and uh, you know by look of it itself it says something very strange because it is not part of the mundane ipv4 uh, folder just with you know tcp udp and moreover funnily if you check uh, ip proto tcp and ip proto udp the enumerated uh, or hash defines uh, you will find along with that sctp as well so it is very much a part of ip protocol so uh, ip proto tcp if you search you should find uh, as you can see here in uh, uap linux in dot h and uh, please note whenever you do anything with the kernel uh, these uh, file names and uh, paths everything may change based on your uh, the current version suddenly they may change something and you may not find it as described in this you know video so try to bear that in mind whenever you do any work in kernel space don't stick with any examples any online examples or any books uh, the kernel what you are going through may be different versus that book published at that era okay same way even this video after a while even this video gets older and uh, these paths may change and uh, these definitions may change and stuff so take this as a sort of rough uh, you know reference and see what it translates at that point of time okay so you can see here ip proto udp is here and uh, it has been uh, defined as 17 so you can see this is an enumerated data type and uh, as well you can see this icmp is here and some of this dynamic uh, you know uh, routing protocols are defined here igmp and stuff like that so these are various ip protocols okay so what is ip protocol is when you take an ip header ipv4 uh, header you have this uh, field which is this ip proto field so this field is one byte and that one byte whenever you capture the packets what it has been populated is actually dictated by this you know standard or this number <laughs> okay so if you capture udp packets it will have the number 17 in hexadecimal it will be something 11 something like that and if you capture tcp it will be 6 so that's what it is and you can scroll down and you should find this SCTP over here which is 132 and this is what it is so uh, if you are doing any R&D you can also take any uh, pre-captured uh, sample uh, packets so you can also do one thing is uh, we can do that we do everything and then we come to this protocol itself okay so uh, sample Wireshark SCTP something like that and we see if we can get any sample SCTP captures yeah as you can see here these are sample captures uh, let's see over here uh, SCTP yeah luckily we can find a sample capture otherwise if there is no such sample capture is there you can also do uh, download any uh, sample SCTP server and uh, client code and then compile it and you can run it and you can get it in python or something you don't need to compile as it is you can run it and then you can capture these packets in wireshark as well so that is also another option so you can see luckily we have several test samples uh, we take one of this test sample see please note this may be multi homed or may not be so let's not get to the multi homing part we get to the basic SCTP part and we see the similarities between tcp and SCTP 
and we try to go from there okay so you can see this is a sample http capture it's a very small capture you can see just you know three four packets and you can see instead of uh, udp or uh, tcp you have this http you know header and then uh, in this example there is no payload uh, maybe we can take some other capture uh, see you can see http with www uh, which is like some sort of internet traffic and then we take this sample and you can see it should have the entire sessions of http protocol uh, carried over http again i'm not sure how far they tried uh, uh, getting something like that to get something like that you need a browser with http support you need also or any web uh, client with http support and also you need uh, uh, the web server with http support <laughs> okay so you can see we take any data packet and you can see yeah uh, this uh, get packet uh, in the get packet you instead of tcp you find the http and then you have the regular http you know get packet uh, i mean get uh, header okay so you can see there so this is what is the context it is a pure transport layer uh, protocol and it has been intended to replace you know tcp ip i mean tcp as the transport layer so one of the fundamental issues now you understood is if you go with this the entire architecture or entire uh, this thing of the internet should be changed if we want to widely adopt this standard every web server should use uh, something like uh, uh, SCTP instead of uh, TCP and this itself is one compatibility issue uh, nevertheless whatever advantages you get from SCTP so that is secondary one thing is all that you know thing should uh, sort of change to SATP. So this will create a lot of issues in terms of compatibility. You may have uh, old devices which may not have the SATP stack. Those devices will not run and you need to find out a way that if this uh, website is supporting both TCP and SATP then uh, what is the alternate uh, possibility and stuff like that. So it will lead to a lot of complications and in general uh, when you type any URL you can mention any custom ports <laughs> but you cannot say the custom uh, you know transport uh, protocol to choose okay that is another uh, drawback i mean the another limitation you get by doing a general web browsing so you go to any website okay so you go to any website let's take google news you have this news.google.com and here we understand it is https so it's a regular https port and it takes by default uh, tcp as the transport uh, layer uh, protocol and uh, the browser will send uh, the regular tcp scene packets and uh, it will get that uh, connection established to that remote web servers but imagine this something getting replaced fundamentally with sctp and what about the compatibility of hundreds of you know devices uh, which are connecting in the internet so that is not going to be possible and that is not going to happen overnight as well so this is one of the fundamental drawbacks it never picked up so besides this when you uh, visit this multi-homing thing see i'm not again uh, a complete expert or worked extensively in sctp and uh, whatever i have done also is at that era and i now hardly you know sort of remember but few snippets i can give um, i thought uh, Anyway, there I can find some uh, valuable information about current, I mean, uh, about uh, uh, certain aspects of SCTP. So we can just walk through. See, one of the things this differentiates with regular TCP is its initial connection itself is, uh, you know, somewhat different. It is not like a three-way handshake. It is a four-way handshake and it has this uh, sort of sequence. And uh, whenever you read this, uh, I recommend you to go through this, you know, packet captures rather than, you know, going through this, you know, theories. So especially if you are a, a faculty in a college, uh, if you are teaching, uh, just stop going through this boring, you know, pictures, okay, this kind of flow pictures. So the industry approaches, uh, we don't much focus this. Uh, the textbooks may write extensively about this. You don't need to waste your time understanding and decoding what they meant. Just directly come here because it's a old protocol. You don't need to go with any IET of, uh, uh, standards or any white papers and then you know uh, try to you know break your head, try to understand. No, you don't need to do that because it's a well-established but it's an old 
uh, protocol as well and we have sample working capture here so just go here and see this uh, packet flow you have this uh, in it and uh, looks like this is the client and server uh, connection or uh, communication okay so you can see and then you got some init act from server to client then it is sending some cookie echo and cookie act and then it is sending this directly in the case of tcp since in the CAC and then it will establish this data packet but here it is four packets so this is what i think they meant four way handshake again i'm not a complete expert nor i remember no i vaguely remember but what i'm thinking is subsequently i may shoot couple of episodes in case uh, i get some curiosity and i do some r and d i may you know share some of the snippets and this will help in case you are doing any research in uh, multi homing uh, it can be uh, you are doing on behalf of a company or you may be doing uh, on behalf of your uh, phd or any sort of you know research okay academic research as well so that's what it is so you can see here uh, what i do is um, even this uh, links and uh, the sample capture links and uh, those uh, sites whatever i refer here i'm going to attach in the video description so that you can uh, go through and refer and this generally i do uh, whenever i do sessions with my students as well whatever i scribble i send them and all the you know captures and any code i write everything i send as a part of the uh, you know session so you can see that that's what they meant and this is what happened this is what happened so this is what it is and uh, we can also do is so we can take any sample SCTP uh, code uh, like C code, PHP, Python or something and then we can try to uh, compile and run and uh, see how these packets are you know communicated. So one thing is of course you have this capture but in case you are curious uh, and you want to do some R&D on this uh, socket code of this SCTP you can actually download such example code and do some tweaking around and then uh, doing some R&D okay so that's what it is uh, uh, and uh, they also mentioned by the way if you go back here they also mentioned about this uh, connection termination as you can see it's an entire different jargon they are telling some shutdown shutdown act shutdown complete and something like that so looks like this side it is three packets uh, and this side it is four packets overall you know going to and fro and we can again verify this shutdown act and all that in this capture as well so let's see if we can get anywhere uh, those sequence of packets okay you can see their sack yes shutdown shutdown act shutdown complete something like that so this looks like